Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today I bet you didn't know that Ptolemaic Egypt and Ancient Egypt could exist together in peace and happiness in Rome Total War Remastered. But I'm here to show you that today they can with Danny Mock's Ptolemaic Egypt mod. Yes, here we are. Fantastic. First things first though, guys, we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers, so if you don't subscribe right now, you're going to be pressed into this peasant regiment and used as a meat shield when assaulting a city. And plus, you'd have to work with this guy, and who wants to work with him? But anyway, the Ptolemaic Egypt mod by Danny Watt. We've covered a couple of his mods before. The extended roster mod, which adds a lot of cool new units into the game. But this one just focuses on Egypt and bringing a Ptolemaic flavor to Egypt in Rome Total War Remastered. Because in case you didn't know, Egypt was ruled by the Greek Ptolemies at the time. One of the successor states to Alexander. And they most certainly did not fight in this, uh, you know, predominantly this style that is shown by the actual Rome Total War Remastered Vanilla faction. They fought in a Greek style. So that is why we have these units here. And we're going to be going through them one by one to talk about their qualities and show them off. This is the full previous roster. With this new roster, we have 10 new units. Yes, 10, and they are all really cool and really cool to show off. So let's get started. We have the standard Militia Hoplites in here. As you can see, styled in the Egyptian style with the gold and bronze. Very, very nice indeed. What isn't nice, however, is the Militia Hoplites stats. We all know how bad these units really are. Two morale, five melee attack, and eight defense just the same as the Seleucids and the Macedonians in terms of the militia hoplites so don't be expecting anything too special when you roll these guys out onto the battlefield the same can be said for our next unit which is the levy pikeman a few more units 40 more men in this unit but again two morale six melee attack and five total defense i'd probably take these over the militia hoplites just because there's more in this unit and you know they've got that one extra attack and always remember though guys a phalanx formation is pretty much unbreakable from the front i mean with the game mechanics it can be broken by some crazy ai pushes but these guys you know they're not great in terms of their stats but they will still do a lot of damage if someone's attacking them directly in the front and they're not doing some crazy push through tactic that the ai likes to do but again look at these guys styled in the egyptian style but they are unmistakably greek units as the levy pikemen very cool indeed so next let's move on to the phalanx pikemen again a really cool addition to the roster and these guys have the little snakes on their shields so they're going to be coming after you i don't know why i did that but i'm going to keep it in anyway <laughs> But again, they are the same stats as the Seleucid Phalanx Pikemen, but they have one more attack than the Nile Spearmen, but a few less shield, three less shield. However, you know, they're pretty much similar stats to the Nile Spearmen. So it's up to you whether you want to take these Phalanx Pikemen and fight in the true Ptolemaic style, or you want to go full native Egyptian, if we can find these guys here. Nile Spearmen, you can see... So they just have the Nile Spearmen have a bit more shield and less armor, and the Phalanx Pikemen have one more attack. So they're a very comparable unit, but again, the Phalanx Pikemen are better. So probably worth taking those guys when you can early game. And again, they look fantastic, don't they? In the Egyptian style. So onto the Ptolemaic Royal Guard, and they are pretty comparable to the Silver Shield Pikemen of the Seleucids. They also have the same sort of attack as the Royal Pikemen of Macedon, which are one of the best pikemen in the game, one of the best phalanx units in the game. But unfortunately, they just have three less defense because the, uh, the Macedonian pikemen have five shields, and these guys only have two because, again, they've got these diddy little shields uh, with the icon of Egypt on there. Very nice indeed. And I like the blues going through this unit. They do look quite cool. Nice little Linothoraces on their bodies to give them a bit of armor 
as we can see, and the cool helms once again. But 8 morale, 10 melee attack, really good. Uh, solid phalanx unit. In fact, not just a solid phalanx unit, an excellent phalanx unit indeed. And when you can get your hands on these guys, use them to your advantage because they're a very nice phalanx unit. Total defense of 14 as well. Six armor and two shields. So they might die a little bit to missiles with only eight defense against missiles. But they're going to do very, very well in melee with that six defense skill. A pretty nice unit overall. Very cool indeed. So let's move on to the Gabiniani. If I can say that correctly, the Gabin Niani Legionaries. <laughs> a really cool unit. Very similar, in fact, to the units of um, the cohorts of uh, Armenia and Numidia. But they are, in fact, better. If we look at the stats of the cohorts of Armenia and Numidia, they only have 4 morale, 7 attack, and 16 defense. These guys are on the other end of the spectrum. They have 8 morale. 9 melee attack and 19, yes, 19 defense. And I think they look awesome in this bronze and gold color. I think they look really cool indeed. Again, the Egyptian symbols on there. Very, very nice indeed with their chain mail on. Looking, you know, kind of worried. I'm not going to lie, these guys. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. But anyway, they look fantastic. And they have an armor-piercing primary weapon so that means their javelins i believe uh, is their primary weapon uh, in this case so they have an armor piercing javelin with 13 missile attack so that is a really brutal brutal bruising missile attack there that will do a lot of damage especially armored units especially if you're fighting the seleucids and you end up fighting cataphracts and that sort of thing if you can get a javi throw into those cataphracts early on by these guys. You're going to do some serious, serious damage. They also can form Testudo, like all good legionaries. Uh, combat bonus in deserts, which is fantastic, like the Numidian legionaries. Good morale, well armored. If we look at their stats, 8 morale, 9 melee attack, 19 defense. Very, very comparable to a standard legionary cohort for the Romans, which has 10, 9, and 22. So, a little bit behind, but that's exactly what you'd expect because you know the copycat legionaries are never going to be as good as the original are they that's what we all know so yeah really cool unit very very nice bit of power added into this unit uh, into this roster expanded roster as well very strong and going to do a lot of damage especially to your darn lucid adversaries so let's move on to the final unit of infantry the royal peltas now this unit is actually not really comparable to many other units in the game. I, I've searched through the rosters, and there's not really that many other units that are comparable to this, unless you're using Danny Mock's expanded roster mod alongside this as well. 10 morale, really nice indeed. 11 melee attack, which is great, although it is 11 melee attack with a spear. So that's one thing you've got to, uh, you know, got to take into account. 11 melee attack with a spear is nowhere near as good as 11 melee attack with a sword, of course. And again, looking at the really cool style of these guys. And once again, they are unmistakably Greek units. Unmistakably Ptolemaic units. 19 total defense. So that's pretty cool. If we compare them to, say, some Carthaginian units, if you look at the Poini... Um, Poeni Spearmen, the Poeni Infantry, 8 morale, 9 melee attack, and 18 defense. So these guys pit them to the post, and then they're pretty close to the Sacred Band that have 10, 12, and 23. So just a little bit behind on the defense of the Sacred Band, but they're pretty comparable. A very nice spear unit that's going to do very, very well in melee combat all the way through the game. Really elite unit, going to do some fantastic fantastic fighting and again look bonus versus elephants and chariots now that's going to be very useful against the enemies you're fighting namely the seleucid so a really really good addition into the roster now let's take a look at the cavalry so we have the greek cavalry over here and again unmistakably greek very nice indeed with quite uh, a nice bronze linothorax on as well very cool indeed. And, you know, a sun hat there just for a bit of protection, you know, from the sun's rays out in the desert. 
four morale, six melee attack, and eight total defense. Pretty much exactly the same as any other Greek cavalry regiment that you're going to see in-game. So, yeah, again, another good Greek unit added in. Of course, the Greek cavalry, we all know, are not the best cavalry in the game, but they are fast-moving, um, so that does help them out. But uh, I'd probably still take sort of the Nile cavalry and the desert cavalry because of their armor-piercing capabilities uh, over here. Ah, so we got the Greek cavalry over here as well. I accidentally added them in there. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> very good. They've got two units of Greek cavalry on the battlefield. Just can't get enough of them. And over here, we have the companion cavalry, cavalry and the breastplate. The big bronze breastplate. Look at that. Monstrous breastplate there. Very cool indeed. With the feathered, uh, feathered helms on as well, uh, denoting that they are companions. Very cool unit indeed. Added in to the roster and some fantastic stats. 10, 10, and 17 with an alt attack of 12. Now, this is the same as the Macedonian uh, companion cavalry. So, equal to Alexander's famous cavalry. Very nice indeed. Um, a little bit different from the Sacred Band. The Sacred Band are again 10, 11, 12, and 18. So, the Sacred Band pit these guys a little bit. But you're talking about some of the best cavalry units, non-cataphract, should I say, cavalry units in the game. So, uh, you know, it's a scrap over nothing, really. These guys are a fantastic elite cavalry unit, and they're going to do very nicely on the battlefield. So now let's move on to our special, special units. Here we are, boys. Yes, <laughs> the Scythe boys, the Scythe chariots are here for the Egyptian roster. And it makes sense, you know. Uh, over here, we can see, uh, you know, the two units, or is it th three different units of, no, only two different units of chariots they already have. I've removed the general's bodyguard as well, so there would be three different uh, chariot units over there. But <laughs> there's a third now as well with the scythe boyos as well. So it makes sense to add these guys into the roster. Looking very cool indeed. Very nice. Um very scary unit. And they have the same stats as the Scythe Chariots you're going to see elsewhere. So that's the same as the Pontics and the Seleucids uh, uh, char Scythe Chariot units. 10, 15, and 1. But of course, they got 4 hit points, so they do have 4 defense. <laughs> A very solid 4 defense <laughs> against, against the enemy. Uh, when you're using these guys, remember that you don't want them to be in melee for a prolonged amount of time. Because their hitboxes are massive. Their hitboxes are ginormous, guys. And with only four defense, uh, you know, against anyone else, they're going to really get murdered if you leave them in melee for a long time. So you want to kind of charge them in, let them do their crazy special attack, uh, frighten the enemy as much as possible. If anything, you just want to use these guys for the morale shock, really. A very good morale shock unit. And then finally, the big boys. The big, big boys. Here we go. Yes. 192 defense for the elephants compared to the scythe chariots. Because they have 16 defense, but they've got 12 hit points. Yes, 12. And these guys are the same as the Seleucid War Elephants as well in terms of their stats. 8 morale, 6 melee attack, and total defense of 16. Very nice indeed. So guys, I think we are at the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do comment down below what your favorite unit is uh, that's been added into this lovely Ptolemaic addition to vanilla Total War Rome remastered i think it's fantastic edition and it allows you to play both you know a lot of other mods just do one or the other whereas this one you know if you're playing vanilla and you want a choice as to whether you want to play with the vanilla units or the ptolemaic units this is the mod for you because it will allow you to play with both of them the link will be down in the description guys go and subscribe if you do want to um pick this mod up on steam but thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Comment any mods you want me to cover in the future. The best, the most liked comment will win. And I will cover that mod. So thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. And I will see you all again on the next video.